hey hello welcome so in this video i am going to show you how you can create a rest connection for creating the rest connection we require the rest adapter so while creating the connection we will select the rest adapter so let let's create a new connection so for creating any connection we have to navigate to the design inside the design we have that connection so once you will click on this connection you will see that all the connection created in the instance so right now i don't have any rest connection created here right so now for creating the connection you have to click on this create button once you will click on that create button it will ask you to select the connection so here i will select the connection as rest right so i have selected the rest connection and it will ask to the name of the connection so i will provide the name as xx rest connection and now here i will select this rest connection as a trigger so why i am going to select this rest connection as a trigger because this connection is going to initiate my integration so i will use this connection to initiate the integration to configure the request and the response payload for the integration so if suppose i want to call any rest web services for that we need to create that invoke type connection or trigger and invoke type connection so right now i don't want to call any other rest services external rest services that's why i will choose only trigger type connection so just now after selecting there you can provide the description you can provide the keyword so that it can be helpful for searching and also i don't want to put anything just need to click on this create button so once you will click on that create button it will ask you the details so here you can see that we are going to create this connection for that uh, initiating the integration so that i will provide the basic auth so once you will click on this basic auth everything is fine you need to click on the test so once you will click on the test you can see that connection xx rest created test successfully it means that it's now ready to use ready to use in integration so as i told you this connection role is trigger it means that this connection is just going to help the integration to initiate to execute start the execution of that integration nothing else this connection is not gonna help you to call any other rest services if you want to call any other rest services you have to create connection type as a invoke because invoke will help you to use that connection between the integration not even at the starting position of the integration so once you will select the rest connection as a invoke or trigger and invoke it will ask you the url it will ask you the user and password for which web services you are going to connect i will show you okay so now here i have to click on this test and done integration my connection is created successfully just go back so now this integration is ready to use for integration using this rest connection i can configure we can configure the request and response payload of the integration app driven integration for that app driven integration we can configure request payload or response payload whatever so if you will see i told you the connection type is the trigger right so if you will go and will select resist rest i'm not going to create just for demo purpose i will show you rest con 2 and here if i have selected trigger and invoke or you can see inv invoke whatever so it will ask you the use credentials it will ask you the host url for which you are going to call the rest services so here you have to provide the connection url and here you have to provide the username password for that web services which web services you are going to call which rest web services you are going to call so right now i don't want to create so i will just discard this connection so later whenever we will use requirement we'll create connection and we'll use that okay so here in the way i have shown you how you can create the rest connection in next video i will create one connect uh, integration in that integration i will use rest connection to make a request and response payload i will use atp adapter connection to insert data into atp table and use sftp connection to get the data from sftp server so thank you so much for watching